Hello my lovelies, welcome back. It's August favourites. August, I will be glad to see the back of August. It has not been, um, no, it's not been a great month. In fact, it's probably been the worst month of the whole year so far. So I'm quite happy to see the back of it. But I have got some favourites for you. First things first, um, I have become addicted to this and the fact that it's been on offer at Tesco hasn't helped. Um, I have a few in my cupboard, but it's the Imperial Leather Cherry Bakewell Shower Gel. It is just Cherry Bakewell in the shower with you, cake. It's just fabulous. And I love it. I just love the smell of it. It makes me happy. It makes me smile. I love the warmth. I love the sweetness. Um, it's getting a little bit cooler. So the citrus scents I'm liking, but I just tend to head towards the warmer scents as it starts to get colder and this is just lovely um stick foundations i decided i needed to use this particular one up because it's the wrong color and i featured it on videos it's the hourglass stick foundation but i've become obsessed with it because the application is so beautiful and yes it's far too yellow but it's so creamy and beautiful finish of the skin and it blends beautifully and it's I find it the comparison between the drugstore and the high end is extreme for me personally I've tried a few of the lower price ones and they're just too waxy and chalky I find the higher price stick foundations smoother creamier they give a nice coverage without being too heavy and caked um, this is the shade sand which as I say is the wrong shade for me but it's been the most beautiful foundation on its own I've mixed it to make it work with my skin and it mixes well with other foundations other liquid foundations so it's been yeah the foundation I've reached for if I've been going out and just working with it I want to use it up then I was sent um, a new launch from Diego Della Palma and it's their Eclipse um, stick foundation and they very kindly sent me two shades 232 and 233 232 is a yellow tone 233 has more a warmer pinkier tone and again these are so beautiful and creamy great colors I love that I sort of I can work with both of them I use the lighter shade in the middle of my face and the dark one on the outside I have filmed a video with these but again they're creamy they leave a lovely finish I'm wearing the foundations today um, you can layer them which is great for stick foundation they're not chalky they're not dry they last all day they do have a subtle glow I haven't powdered my skin today they have a subtle glow but they're not shiny and they last superbly well um these have an spf of 20. i'm not sure if hourglass has an spf it doesn't say on the container and i don't have the packaging but i've just been loving stick foundations as a whole in august right um my nails um cnd this is the colour and I absolutely love it. It's Element and it's a pinky red and I like that they've gone into the autumn rather than going red red or a blue red or a pillar box red they're still bringing a bit of summer and it just gives that little bit of lift to the nails and I love CND polishes because they give such a lovely sheen to the nail. I mean I do always use a top coat as you know but they last and I do lots of things without wearing gloves as you know and these are just some of the longest lasting polishes I've used so I have this one this one I wore and it's almost like a plummy mauve tone on the nail I put it on Instagram and there were so many people who were just oh god that's a fabulous shade and I haven't seen a lot of this colour around and um, this is called Arrowhead but love that colour and then I have this which I think is going to be really great in the autumn months because it's going to lift the nails again um, but it's slightly more fun than the series deep dark colours this is Dreamcatcher and it's this fabulous mauve purple so those but I have you know me been wearing Element which I have on my nails now a lot and these were PR um, talking of nails, I think I mentioned this, it's the Apotheca SOS Recovery Nail and Cuticle Oil with Lemon, Lavender and Myrrh. This is 
fabulous it sits by my bed it's a roller ball applicator and you just put it where you want it blend it into your nails and it really has made a difference to my nail beds now i have deliberately not used it for two nights to show you how quickly my skin peels off there i'll use this tonight and it'll just start healing and soothing it and i love it i love just sitting in bed and you smell the sort of lemon and the lavender very relaxing routine working it into the nails a lovely oil and i've got a spare as well next this was pr i've featured it i did an introduction blog post about it i wanted to come back to you because eye creams are the thing that i'm quite cynical about um and for years i didn't bother because i'd use them and i couldn't see any difference i also found a lot of eye creams dry me here i get dry patches and there was one from superdrug that i loved and i still use from the optimum range and then i was very kindly sent this pr it's the new launch by emma hardy adding to her midas touch collection and it's the revitalizing eye serum now i liked this um, because the consistency is very, it's almost like elasticated, it has, it has a glueiness to it without it being sticky and it's a good consistency, it, it's not lightweight, it doesn't feel airy fairy, it feels like it's going to do something but it blends under the eye area to a beautiful finish, you're not aware of it, it's not sticky at all, it blends away. Now I have used this when was I sent it? I'm not sure. It must be six weeks, two months now. So I've been using this morning and evening. Um, I'll try. I'm put the photos in because I'm going to do a final blog post about this. And I can't show you now because I've got makeup on and I've got concealer on. But i noticed a difference two things the first one i didn't get any dry areas here which is a plus for me um because that's basically what happens and i go no it's not going to work secondly over a month i realized that here and i do have naturally dark circles i just do um but i noticed in these areas here and i have taken photographs sort of pointing that the darkness had lessened it was more even in tone also I find it works well with other products because sometimes you put eye products on and things roll together and you get it just doesn't work but this has been really nice and you don't need a lot I started off using a pump but I realised half a pump actually did both my eyes and I always take it on my frown lines, my number 11s and you can use it around the lip area. So yes, it's a positive and it's a favourite because I'm still using it and because I've seen a difference around my eyes and basically that's what you know you want it to do. So well done Emma Hardy. You know that for five months, and it has been five plus months, I've had skin problems. My skin suddenly became very irritated. It became very red here. I had lumps. I had lumps on my forehead. And I went through everything. Um, acne. You know, you get acne in middle age. Was it rosacea? Was it a food allergy? Was it a skincare allergy? A number of skincare products that I'd used a long time I took out of my routine. I put them back in and it flared up. I stopped using retinol, I stopped using AHA and BHA um, exfoliants and basically I started introducing a lot of blue tansy into my routine which really really works. The wonderful mono and natural wisdom, brilliant brands are just oh excellent, really helped soothe and calm and it, they took the angry aspect of my skin down, it was still there but it softened it but it was still a little bit red I was going through my little sample box and I thought I must use things up because it's easy to save things and then they go out of date and I had a tiny tiny vial of um, serum from A Florence skincare and I bought a cleanser um, from A Florence and it's a great brand because samples often sell you a product and I used it and I put it on my face and within 10 minutes or so Craig said what have you done to your face 
and I'd been going without makeup to see if it was makeup that was irritating my skin and I said oh nothing I've just put a serum on he went but it's you know it's it's so much better I looked in the mirror and the redness had just about vanished completely vanished and I was like wow now this is a salicylic product and salicylic is part of the aspirin family I've told you this I'm allergic to aspirin so although it's fantastic for my skin and it really is a great ingredient I always know I have to be very cautious with it and use it sparingly because I could react but this was incredible so I used it for two three nights on the trot and although you could still see evidence of the problem it was dramatically changed so much so that I ordered a bottle and this is the A Florence Skincare Blemish SOS Clarifying Face Oil and it's 2% salicylic acid and black cumin. If like me you do have an aspirin allergy don't think oh I can just use it as much as I want be careful. This is something that I use probably once twice a week now I got as you do comfortable the slippers were on again and I thought great my skin's looking much much better I'm going to start reintroducing some products and I introduced a cleanser from a brand that I'd had to take a lot of the products away from my routine because they were just irritating my skin and within three mornings of using the cleanser it was back really not happy and I popped a few drops of this just on the localized areas and within half an hour the redness had gone yes there were a couple of lumps but it just it's just magic in a bottle and I've noticed recently on Instagram so so many people have been talking about this and saying it is a wonder product for me it has been a miracle an absolute miracle and I haven't you know I haven't tossed and turned that oh my skin's ruined and you know if I want to I cover it with makeup if I don't I don't it's what happens but it was so nice to find something that just helped that little bit more so I'm still using the blue tansy because my skin loves the blue tansy um, the condition of my skin loves blue tansy and it really loves this um, I love the cleanser I have the Skin Barrier um, Serum which is amazing. She very kindly um, sent me a big sample of the Hydrating Serum which I'm wearing today which is amazing. Um, it's just a brand that I have embraced completely and it's really made me rethink um, what I'm buying in my skincare. I'm doing a no spend but I'm also reviewing how many products I use and I want to keep using things that are really working for my skin and being honest, honest that some things are just not working for me now. You know, there's no point in me keep introducing cleansers that are going to start my skin off. So, A Florence Skincare is the way forward for me currently. I do acknowledge and accept that in another six months this may not be the case. You know, your skin changes, what your skin wants changes obviously there are certain issues that have set my skin off it could be that my skin gets used to this it could be that it stops working for my skin who knows but at the moment for me personally this has been the best thing about 2018 in my skincare cabinet the best the number one skincare product of 2018 i know it's only the end of august but it's a great declaration to make but I stand by it a Florence skincare blemish SOS now to order this you need to go onto their Instagram page and click on the link I've ordered from them twice it is completely safe I haven't had an issue other than the first couple of times I tried to order from them I couldn't get my order to go through and I was thoroughly frustrated but security wise I know some people are dubious about ordering online it's been fine and it's a very small brand it's handmade you may have to wait longer for your products because they are handmade um, but this has been absolutely brilliant all the ingredients everything you need to know is there beautifully packaged you can ask as many questions as you want of the company they're just it's just great and it's been outstanding a Florence Skincare, I'm going to say it again, Blemish SOS Clarifying Face Oil. I'll put a link 
outstanding, brilliant, fantastic, fabulous. As many positives as you can imagine. Right, I'm going to go into town. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to the supermarket. The sun is shining, but there are grey clouds lurking. And I'm hoping, I hate taking an umbrella. I hate faffing about with an umbrella. So generally I don't take one. So I'm going to try and dodge the showers today. And that's August's favourite. Goodbye August, I'm so glad to see the back of you. And here's to a lovely September. Fingers crossed. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.